What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to give you guys some quick Atlanta Falcons news. And I also want to talk about two possible breakout pass rushers for our Atlanta Falcons. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys continuing to tune into the channel, uh, continuing to uh, share out my content. If you would like to follow your boy on Twitter, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, you also can follow me at Jutalk Sports. If you would like to donate to my channel, uh, you can donate to my cash app, which is the dollar sign Jutalk Sports. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So first off in Atlanta Falcons news, uh, yesterday, our Atlanta Falcons re-signed uh, outside linebacker uh, Brandon Copeland. Um, this was no uh, no surprise to me uh, when he was released uh, on Saturday night uh, prior to the first game of the season. I figured that the Falcons would possibly bring him back. Um, I really believe the reason that Brandon Copeland was actually cut from the team or released is so that his uh, his contract wouldn't have uh, wouldn't be fully guaranteed because after you play the first game of the season, um, all contracts at that point, um, for the most part, are guaranteed for a certain portion. So I really believe the reason that the Falcons uh, released Brandon Copeland on Saturday night and brought him back yesterday was to um, add some incentives on his contract. So his contract wouldn't be fully guaranteed for the season. He is on a one year deal with our Atlanta Falcons. So this comes as no surprise. I do believe that Brandon Copeland is a solid veteran and he's a guy that we can use in our pass rush um, as far as in our pass rush rotation. He's another guy that you can drop into coverage at times in the flats and things of that nature. And he's a veteran guy that's been in the league uh, for a while now. He's a great locker room guy, a glue guy, one of those guys that you can use in a lot of different ways along the line of scrimmage. So I, I wasn't surprised seeing Brandon uh, Brandon Copeland coming back to the Falcons. I did believe once he was released uh, that he would be brought back either uh, on the practice squad or possibly just re-signed to the team. He was added back to the 53-man roster. Um, and I definitely think that uh, Brandon Copeland can do some things. He's a guy that can possibly get you about four to five sacks in a season um, and be one of those rotational pass rushers. Um, but with that being said, that's pretty much all I have for Atlanta Falcons news. But I do also want to talk about in this video, two possible breakout pass rushers for the Atlanta Falcons. Um, the first guy that I think is going to be a breakout pass rusher this season for our Atlanta Falcons is Jacob Tuioti Mariner, which I call JTM. Uh, JTM is one of those guys for the last um, since last season. He's a guy that I've been, I've been spotlighting. I've been watching uh, after he had that breakout game against the Raiders last year uh, when we blew the Raiders out. Um, he was the NFC defensive player of the week um, last year. He had a game where he was a break, the breakout star of that game. Uh, he had a forced fumble, uh, two sacks and a fumble recovery in that game. Uh, JTM is a guy that Dean Pease raves about, uh, raves about because of his uh, flexibility. Not only is he a player that can play along the line of scrimmage, but he's also a guy that you can drop into the flats and things of that nature. Uh, we seen him last year almost come away with an interception where he was dropped into coverage um, during those zone blitzing schemes and things of that nature. But I really think that Jacob Toyota Mariner is going to possibly be one of the better pass rushers on our team. And the reason I think that he's possibly going to be one of the best pass rushers on our team and possibly be a breakout pass rusher for us is because of his motor. Uh, that's one of the number one things I look for in a great pass rusher is a person that doesn't give up or a player that doesn't give up uh, on plays. And Jacob Toyota Mariner, when you see him out there on the field, he's a guy that never gives up on a play. He's always chasing the quarterback, always chasing the running back down from behind, kind of like a Grady Jarrett type. And in this game against the Eagles, uh, JTM was the only one uh, to have a sack in that game. And he could have really forced a fumble on Jalen Hurts. Um, he did bend the corner and come all the way around. Uh, Jalen Hurts had broke the pocket and he basically went around the whole offensive line, ran around the back 
whipped all the way around and was able to come away with a sack because he didn't give up on the play. Um, and that's something that is very important out of a pass rusher is having a high motor, um, not giving up on plays and having multiple uh, moves. And one thing I can say about JTM, he uses his hands during his pass rush. He does. He doesn't just bull rush. He's a guy that uses the speed rush, uh, the speed rush. To me, he does a good job of mixing up um, his different pass rush moves. And I think that that's something that Dante Fowler, who I'm a huge fan of, has been struggling with. If you go back and watch that game against the Eagles, Dante Fowler didn't do a good job of mixing up um, the different types of pass rush, uh, pass rush moves. He didn't do a good job of using his hands um, to basically get after the passer. But I do think that Jacob Toyoni Mariner is one of the most technically sound pass rushers on our team. He does a good job of using his hands. He does a good job of bending the corner and he does a good job of um, playing with a high motor. He doesn't give up on plays. He's always chasing somebody. He's always chasing the ball, always running to the ball, um, bringing another hat to the football. And that's something that you can't teach is that motor and that, um, you know, that resiliency that you're never going to give up on a play, that you're always going to continue to fight. And that's something that I love in this guy, Jacob Toyote Mariner. I definitely think that he's uh, possibly could have um, a 10 sack season this year or anywhere between seven to 10 sacks because of his resiliency, because of that high motor that he plays with. Um, it's only been one game so far and he already has one sack. We're going to see if he can keep it up, but I do expect him to get a lot more um, time on the field. I do want to see him out there on the field a lot more from what I've seen out of this Eagles game. To me, he was one of the bright spots along the defensive line. You guys know I'm big in the trenches I'm big on defensive line play and offensive line play. And Jacob Toyote Mariner is one of my favorite players on this Atlanta Falcons team um, because of his motor and because of his will to win. Um, the second player that I think could be a breakout pass rusher for Atlanta Falcons is Ansa Takumbo Ogundeji. Uh, Ogundeji, uh, uh, a.k.a. A.O. is what we call him. Um, he had a, a decent game against the Eagles when he got into the game in the second half. He did a good job of playing his responsibilities, and he's another player. Um, very long arm, 6'5", 270 pounds. Uh, we drafted him out of Notre Dame, and he's one of K-Style's favorite players um, at Atlanta Falcons Nation, and he's becoming one of my favorite players on this Atlanta Falcons team as well because of his length, because of his um, ability to use his hands and keep uh, defensive or excuse me, offensive tackles off of him. He does a good job of shedding blocks and things of that nature. He's another guy that does a pretty good job of setting the edge in the run game. And he's a guy that just plays the game very fun, uh, fundamentally sound. He's a very fundamentally sound player. And that's something that I think we're missing uh, from a lot of the players on our Atlanta Falcons team. A lot of these guys uh, like Adante Fowler, who, is, who I'm a huge fan of, I believe he needs to get back to using his hands in this pass rush. He needs to go back to the drawing board and needs to get back to the fundamentals. I, when I watch this Eagles game, a lot of our pass rushers, especially the edge rushers, they weren't doing a good job of using their hands. They weren't doing a good job of, um, you know, consistently being around the football and not giving up on plays, consistently chasing the quarterback and things of that nature. And that's something that I've seen out of JTM. And that's something that I've seen out of A.O. When he got into the game, he did a good job of keeping quarterback contained on Jalen Hurts. When they did the read option, uh, A.O., when I went back and watched the game, he was one of the only guys uh, on the defensive line that set the edge well. Um, guys like John Kaminsky, guys like Dante Fowler uh, in this game, they didn't do a good job of setting the edge. They let uh, Jalen Hurts get outside of the pocket too many times in the game. Um, if you watched the game last night, Monday Night Football, the Oakland Raiders did a great job um, for the most part of trying to keep Lamar Jackson in the pocket. Uh, they did a good job of getting after Lamar Jackson, even though Lamar Jackson had a couple of explosive runs, which you're not going to be able to completely shut down, you know, a mobile quarterback. But they did a, a pretty good job of trying to, you know, keep Lamar Jackson inside of the pocket and not allowing him to skate and get outside, you know, on the edge. And I think that that was something in this last Atlanta Falcons game against the Eagles. We did a horrible, uh, horrible job in quarterback contain. So I do believe 
um, Jacob Toyote Mariner or AKA J, uh, JTM. And I do believe that um, AO, Ansatakumbo Ogundeji, those are two guys that I think are going to be uh, young breakout stars for our Atlanta Falcons as far as the pass rush. Um, as you know, we've struggled the last couple of years of finding pass rushers and being able to consistently get after the passer. But these are two young guys that I've been watching. Um, AO, being that he's uh, fairly new to the team, I've been watching him since the preseason. And to me, he's shown me a lot so far. It looks like he's continuing to improve. But Jacob Toyote Mariner, I've been watching him for the last couple of years. And to me, he's one of the guys, the one of the better pass rushers that we have as far as edge rushers on this team at that outside linebacker position. So I would like to see those two guys get more snaps uh, heading into this Tampa game against the Buccaneers. Um, because of their motor, they play a lot like Grady Jarrett. It looks like they feed off of um, Grady Jarrett and his effort. And both of those guys showed tremendous effort uh, during this last game when they finally got minutes in the game. So I like to see these guys get a lot, um, a lot more uh, time, a lot more playing time. And I do believe that these guys are capable pass rushers, guys that also can set the edge in the run game. It was a couple plays in this game where Jacob Toyote Mariner, um, it was one play where uh, Miles Sanders had a huge uh, run up the edge where Jacob Toyote, uh, Jacob Toyote Mariner jumped inside. But I do believe he's one of the most fundamentally and smart players uh, on this team. And I definitely think that both of those guys, both AO and JTM, could be guys that step up for our team this year. Uh, but with that being said, this has been your boy, Ju. Um, if you like the video, please hit that like button. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for your boy. We are currently on the road to 2K. And if you haven't went over to Atlanta Falcons Nation, please go over to Atlanta Falcons Nation as well and hit um, that like and subscribe button is there as well as we're on our road to 2,000 subscribers at AFN. And also tune in tonight as the Atlanta Falcons heavy hitters, uh, me, Matt, Mike, and K-Styles will be going live tonight. You can either join here on my channel, um, Jew Talk Sports, or you can go and join on Atlanta Falcons Nation's page as well. We will be doing um, the pregame show where we will be talking about um, our keys to victory for beating the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this Sunday. Uh, but with that being said, um, this be your boy, Ju. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace.